I'm Tiffany, and this is from Momma's Kitchen. This is where I get to share with you the old-fashioned recipes and skills that I learned from my Momma in her kitchen. Pickled eggs. A delicious pickled eggs. A delicious snack. We also love them as sides with our dinner. As a matter of fact, pickled eggs. As a matter of fact, a few nights ago, we were getting some things out for dinner. Yummy, yummy. I've got a little helper in here with me. As a matter of fact, a few nights ago, we were getting some things out to go with our dinner. And somebody said, oh, I'd like some pickled eggs. And we were out. I did not realize we were out. But we were. Should have planned ahead and noticed that because they actually have to sit for a couple of weeks before they're ready. But we're going to take care of it today. We're going to make pickled eggs. They'll be in the refrigerator. And they'll be ready for us in a few weeks. I'm going to do these a little bit different today than what I typically do. I have a video that shows kind of my go-to recipe for pickled eggs. I'll link that in the description box for you. These are going to be cowboy candy pickled eggs. I love cowboy candy. I love pickled eggs. So I think this is going to be delicious. I saw my friend Megan at Tree Grit make these. And I think she said she saw Meg at the Holler Homestead make them. And every time it's been changed a little bit. I'm sure mine will be a little bit different. But I'm excited about these. I think they're going to be good, y'all. So let's go over and get the eggs boiling, and then we'll get the rest of our ingredients together and get us some pickled eggs in the refrigerator. I like to put a little baking soda in my water to boil my eggs. My mama says that's the trick to getting them to boil, <laughs> to peel easy. Um, these shouldn't be that difficult. They are store-bought eggs. When we do our, when we boil farm fresh eggs, as fresh as they are, sometimes it's hard to get those to peel. Store-bought eggs usually aren't too bad our 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 eggs our chickens have started laying again but it's kind of a slow go right now I still have some water glass eggs but I don't boil those I use those for scrambled eggs or when we're baking something so I've got some store-bought eggs we'll do a dozen of these and pickle them What I do is I bring this to a bowl, I let it boil for five minutes, and then I turn the heat off and let them sit for another 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how much time I've got and what I'm doing. And then I'll move them over into some ice water. Thank you to J&J Homes for working with me and sponsoring today's video. This is their fruit and vegetable cleaner. I have been using this and loving it. All you need is some water, a very small amount of salt to get the ionization process going, and then this rechargeable cleaner. And you can clean your fruits and vegetables naturally, get rid of pesticides, chemicals, dirt, all of those things. So very simple. But y'all, you can use this for more than just fruits and vegetables. That's something that I wanted to be sure to show you is that you can use it for other things as well. So I'm going to remove my apples and my strawberries. I'm going to put in some fresh water, a little bit of salt, and I'm going to use this to clean my jar and my ring and my flat that I'm going to use for my pickled eggs today. You can also use this to clean baby toys, passies, all kinds of things. This cleaner has gotten put to work around here, y'all. I use this often. Thank you again to J&J &J Homes for sponsoring today's video. I will have all the information down in the description box so that you can go and check them out. The eggs have been boiling for five minutes. I just turned the heat off on the stove and I'm going to let them sit here for another 10 to 15 minutes. what seeing these eggs from the store these are labeled as large eggs our chick our chickens are laying jumbo eggs these are so tiny compared to what our chickens lay I'm gonna poke a hole with some with a fork just in each side of the egg to help the flavor get into the egg a little better. I've never done that before. I've always just peeled them, put them in the jar, but 
to try that, see if it makes a difference. All right, so a dozen eggs, a dozen large eggs fit in a wide mouth quart jar. I'm just gonna do one quart today. When the chickens are laying and we have plentiful eggs, I do several of these at a time. I'm just gonna go ahead and do one today. And I do store these in the refrigerator. I have canned pickled eggs before. And it worked out fine. It's not suggested, so do your own research on that. I've just found that they last a really long time in the refrigerator with all the vinegar, the sugar, and things. They're going to last a long time in the refrigerator, so I just, I just put them in the fridge. We go through them pretty quick anyway, so it's kind of, I don't know, I just find it's better for me to pickle them, put them in the refrigerator, we eat through them, and I make some more. I like pickled eggs very vinegary. You can actually cut the vinegar with some water, and I've done that. Today, though, we're going straight vinegar. I'm going to do a cup of white vinegar, a cup of apple cider vinegar, I'm going to do two tablespoons of white sugar and one tablespoon of brown sugar. I just put in um, a, about a teaspoon of minced garlic. You could use garlic powder as well if you wanted, like a half teaspoon of garlic powder. And I also put in about a quarter teaspoon of ground turmeric. And I'll type out the recipe just like I'm doing it down in the description box for you. There'll be a printable recipe. You could chop up some fresh jalapeno and put in here. I have some of our dehydrated. So I'm going to put a good sprinkling. Turn this on, let the sugar melt, let everything heat up together. Put a little salt in here. Put a half teaspoon of salt in. I tell you what, them dehydrated peppers, they are stout. <laughs> I've been putting them in cornbread and different things. They're really good. But they they are some concentrated flavor and con some concentrated heat in those peppers. All of my sugar, my salt, my spices are dissolved in my vinegar. So now I'm going to pour it over my eggs. Put my lid on. This lid says chicken broth. <laughs> I'm just reusing an old flat because this doesn't need to seal. It's going to be stored in the refrigerator. I'm going to give them just a gentle shake to make sure that liquid's between all the eggs. And then these are going to go in the refrigerator. The longer they sit, the better they are. You need to give them at least a couple of weeks. The flavor changes, the texture changes as they pickle. So at least a couple of weeks, a month would be ideal. And then these will be ready. We're just gonna keep them in the refrigerator. Some beautiful pickled eggs. 
I'm so excited about these. This is some of my favorite flavors all combined together. These are going to be delicious. They're still pretty warm, so I'm going to let it cool down a little bit, and then I'll put it in the refrigerator. Let me know. Do you like pickled eggs? Is that a go-to snack for your family? It is around here. Every one of us enjoy pickled eggs. Y'all get in the kitchen. Make memories with the people you love. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. I don't know what I was thinking using my white spatula. I knew that turmeric would stain it. I didn't think that one through.